Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is just a bench update. What's going on here in the Rustin Rod's garage? Um, sorry for the shaking. Uh, this is the 1949 Merc Special Edition. Uh, this is a kit that uh, we did a gift exchange at our model club, and everybody kind of swaps around, kind of like the, the white elephant gifts you can trade to the next guy and the next guy and so on uh, I was lucky enough to get a, a decent kit because usually we get it's kind of a joke you know build something you normally wouldn't build so but that's all right uh, I'm working on this one and I was gonna go with a rat rod style to it uh, some different wheels not nothing out of the kit uh, it's getting a uh, big block Chevy uh, is going in it as opposed to a what comes with it or a Ford motor uh, it's gonna be a big raggedy motor sticking out of the hood and I was gonna paint it red with some rust flat red with some rust but then I remember the last one I did the flat red and the rust blend too well and I didn't want to go black and I wasn't really feeling the gray then my wife goes well, why don't you paint it dark green okay well now this is what it looks like in the dark green and it's the emerald green metallic testers that looks too good to put rust on it so we're gonna go a different route uh, it's just gonna be the custom mark uh, I don't know if you can see the holes because uh, I was gonna run exhaust out the side of the fender which I'm still going to do uh, I have yet to determine I know I got to make the headers but it's getting that piece out the side uh, I'm going to go a little wild on the interior uh, I'll hold that off for now uh, I did go ahead and make this visor and, you know it's got the typical you know steel just flat with holes drilled in it like the rat oh excuse me like the rat rotters uh, but I got me some cranky gold Oh, where did I put it? Uh, got this bucket of cranky gold finally. Uh, and I was digging through that and I found some pieces that some cool little gears and they're gonna go two of them are gonna go on the marker light. And then I got two that are gonna fit inside the tail light lenses. Uh, I went with the French tail lights, the ones that are gonna be like bullets. Only I'm not using the bullets. Uh, I'm just going to put the clear in there and then I'm going to uh, put those over so they'll, they'll kind of be flush uh, only with the little gear I hope you can see them when I get it done I'm sure they'll show up in pictures uh, and then I got some little gears that I'm putting on the outside of the exhaust uh, just for something different uh, still going with those ideas still going with the big block uh, instead of being flat black I've gone to uh, it's almost a semi-gloss because the new Tamiya clear I don't don't like it that well uh, it's a nice clear but to me it doesn't give a nice deep super bright shine that the, the wet look gives but that's all good uh, it's all gonna work I'll figure it out uh, the engine uh, it's just gonna be white uh, I've never done a white one of course it'll be a little darker because it'll get get a little wash on it but that's what I'm uh, up to in the shop I uh, just thought I'd make a video and let you know what's going on um, that's it thanks for watching uh, comment rate subscribe uh, I'll talk to you guys all later have a good evening good morning good day wherever you are as Benny Mac likes to say we'll see you guys